Current probes. Measuring current can be accomplished by inserting a probe in series or by using a shunt. Both approaches require unsoldering wires or breaking connections. As currents increase, there are safety risks and shunts can get hot. Voltage drops across added connections can also affect accuracy. A safer and much more convenient method to measure current is to use a current probe. Instead of opening up the circuit to place probes in series or to install a shunt, the current probe uses a clamp that goes around a wire or cable which is supplying the current to be measured. The clamp incorporates a ferrite core or a Hall effect element. As current flows through the jaws of the clamp, a magnetic field is formed, inducing a voltage which is sent to the scope to represent current. Here we are showing a Real Technologies RP1000C current probe. Included with the probe is a BNC cable for connecting to a scope, as well as a BNC to banana plug adapter when connecting to a DMM. A 9 volt power adapter is also included to supply power to the probe. Let's go ahead and make a couple measurements. First we'll make a simple DC current measurement. We have a 50 ohm resistor connected to a power supply set up to deliver 10 volts. The current probe is connected to the scope and is clamped around one of the leads connected to our resistor. Now we'll power up the probe and select the 500 millivolt per amp setting since we'll be working with a relatively low current. Before applying power to the resistor we'll zero the probe to ground. Now we'll apply power and see the scope is showing approximately 100 millivolts. Dividing this value by five, the 500 millivolt setting on the current probe will tell us the current being measured. In this case, approximately 100 millivolts divided by 500 millivolts equals 200 milliamps. We can set the scope up to read this uh, directly. Uh, we'll set the scope probe to 2x and choose current uh, for our units. As you can see uh, we've got uh, 208, uh, roughly 200 milliamp uh, reading on the scope. For our next measurement, we'll, uh, we'll measure the AC current going to the scope. I've got the uh, current probe clamped around the power cord, and we're showing a uh, waveform of AC current with a maximum uh, uh, of a little over one amp. Using a current clamp can simplify your current measurements and provide a safe and effective means of probing.